Hello everyone, welcome to Fableheim and War Tales. A brand new series is upon us. War Tales fully released a few months back, but as you can see, they just received their second community update, and I thought now was the time to hop into it. If you've never heard of War Tales before, it is basically a medieval mercenary simulator. So we are going to create our companions and march into the terrifying unknown world and make our claim. Now, here, we have to choose our destiny. And the first choice is to choose what your companions are. This will give you some starting bonuses and a deficit, as well as four starting classes. Now, of course, you can recruit new people, you can replace these people, you can lose them. And for my companions, they are apprentice friends looking for an adventurer. And my companions are cunning fighters. This grants them experience gained in combat by 10% and influence, which will be important. If my companions had a flaw, it would be... <laughs> what would it be? Eternal dissatisfaction is pretty funny. This reduces the troop's happiness by one during each rest, which is kind of a problem early on, but you can sort of overcome it. None of these are great. This is probably a better one. Maybe a somewhat make of it. No, 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 eternal dissatisfaction. For I am eternally dissatisfied with myself. Now we get to choose your exploration mode. I believe in early access it was only adaptive exploration, but I'm be choosing region locked exploration. So each region of the world has a set difficulty from the start. You will have to expand and improve your troop before you can explore more dangerous areas and fight more powerful enemies. With the Adaptive Exploration, you can move about the world however you please. Everything, everywhere scales to your level. But this allows you to experience and feel the growth of your characters. Which I enjoy. Our starting region is Tiltran County. I believe you can unlock more. Yes, progress in the game to unlock new starting regions. Which is fine. The community update also added the extreme difficulty. Uh, which I'm, I'm not, not doing it. I will be doing Expert Combat Difficulty and Experienced Survival Difficulty. I do know a little bit about War Tales, but I have never played it myself, so that's what we're going with. There are three save modes. There is, of course, Iron Man, not doing that. Limited, which means there's only one save per game, like Iron Man mode, but you can go back to certain checkpoints. However, I'm going to be doing free save. I don't intend on save scumming, i.e. reloading a save to get a different result. But as a content creator, it's always a good idea to have multiple save files so you can go back if something breaks or if I do feel like saves coming, which like I said, I don't plan on it. But it does happen. Here are our four brave champions and a pony. And I will be, I'll show you how it works and then I'll make the other ones. So this is our archer, okay? The archer starting weapon cannot be changed, of course. They just have a bow. As for their utility ability, Deafness increases the range of the next attack is doubled and precision is enhanced. I probably just want that, right? Run, first aid, I'll take aim, sure. Why not? Now here you can choose your traits, so you can just have them be random. I probably am going to choose. I think. Are you sure weapon archers are dex based? But Clever might be good. I've heard that it's really difficult to level up in the late game. But we'll just, we'll go with Nimble. You can choose a second positive effect. But if you do so, you have to choose a negative one as well. So we'll just choose one positive for everybody. And uh, then let the rest go to RNG. I believe it's based on RNG and what happens to the character, I think. Now our archer is going to be a fine lady. No, they're not. Change my mind. This is going to be our fabe. My fabe. And there's a reason for it <laughs> that I'll show later. Now, fabe is, of course, I am beautiful. <laughs> so I don't want an overly rugged face. Oh, he looks pretty angry there. Eh. Eh. Sure. Go with the baby face, why not? And my hair is crazy long. That's pretty accurate, actually. 
of course. I believe you can change your hair color or your hairstyle in game. There's like a, a barbershop item. Go with gray. Uh, no facial hair. I don't like facial hair. And clothing color. Why? Sure. As an archer, I'll just be green. All right. This is our fabe. The fabe for this run. Allow me to recreate everyone else. Now I'll get right back to you. Alrighty, so here is our starting team. Fabe the Archer, Raycor, the Brute. Raycor from Diablo was the female barbarian who liberated and united briefly the barbarians and permanently elevated female barbarians to uh, being on par with their male counterpart. She has a big Ungabunga stick and wrath because uh, that'll be helpful in killing people. And she is strong, of course, as a barbarian. Our swordsman is Magnus the Pious, the emperor of man in Warhammer Fantasy. For some period of time after fighting against chaos, he will be our brave sword and board champion, Brawny, so he has extra health. I don't actually think this is accurate to how he looks, but it's good enough. And last but certainly not least, our ranger, which is the, the rogue in this game, Apatia. She shanks people real good. She also has wrath to deal more damage, and she is bloodthirsty, despite Apatia being apathy. And last, certainly not least, Bill the Pony. I had to. There are actually two ways to use ponies in this game, I believe. You can turn them into war ponies, or just have them carry your stuff, and Bill will be accompanying us the whole time to just carry our stuff. Welcome to Tiltron County. At the beginning, 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 your companions are off in search of adventure. After a few days of quietly traveling along, their only feat was not getting lost, and they have reached their destination. Here, surely, await some novel and exciting quest that will stir up the uneventful lives of bored apprentices. Adventure awaits at the end of the road for those who make it there alive. That is. Oh. Keep pressing... I started pressing WASD. That's not how this works. Our first combats. Poor oh, bandits. They're so weak, too. Just one poacher? I think it's supposed to be the tutorial, though. When your turn comes, play any unit that you haven't used yet in the round. You can find out which enemies will then come into play. Prepare your strategy. I've actually turned on a setting that makes it so it doesn't reveal which enemy is going when. Uh, by default, it will show you, like, this guy would move now, or, you know, in two turns, and the other one would move in four turns. But, uh, I think this will keep it more interesting. You know? Keep it spicy. Can I use W? Yeah, now I can use WASD. Okay. Um, I don't actually know if anyone can reach that. Oh, we're about to find out. All right. We're in position. How do I move? That button. Oh, I can check before. Yeah, I don't think anyone can get there. Hmm. Ah, well. The way this works is we, of course, want to move into position. And if you hit somebody, you tie them up. Yes, yeah, so we are now engaged. The enemy has been engaged. They can only attack their engaged target and there's a higher chance of taking critical damage. An engaged unit is exposed from their back. So if we take good old Apatia here, after I end your turn... Spacebar, okay. If we take good old Apatia here, I can uh, waddle over and give him the shank. Or... I can just move uh, good old Fabe into position. Now, it's really hard to see, but there is a small chance I hit my friends. And from here? Nope. The number is really small. Okay. Ah, so he was going next. You have poison. Oh, they're ain't ruined. I might want to increase the, the speed of things. Now, I could use Wrath to deal some damage, but it's only going to deal 4 to 5. He has 7. Why is my camp... Hello? Hmm. That's strange. 
The archer goes and he shoots. Ooh, a lot at Rancor. We have two health bars, as you can see. One is health, and the other is armor. Armor protects health. Unga booga. So we would like to kill three enemies with a single AoE. What? I didn't do that. Uh, if at all possible, we'd like to never let our health take damage. Okay, I need to turn that off. I don't know if that's a setting, but I don't like that. Ow. I believe poison goes through armor. So one second. I don't know if I can turn that off. But I did turn up the animation speed quite a lot, so... I guess I'm just kind of SOL here. Now, one more thing I haven't talked about yet is we have these pits. Oh, you hit me for two. I'm scared a lot for an archer. We have these pips here called Valor Points. And our special abilities, our utility abilities, require us to use these pips. We can regain them while resting, or you can gain temporary pips later for doing uh, certain things. Which will be a very important part of our build. I might pull her back. Because... Good old Raycor can just bonk it. Alright, that's the gist. We took a touch of damage there. Yeah, see, we need raw materials to repair the damaged armor. And if we take too much damage, we'll need medicine to heal the HP of our our people. I got the poison dagger. Does Apatia want the poison dagger? I don't know, but she did level up. I don't know why no one else did. At level 2, we get to choose. Ah, we get our spec level 3. That's when we become when we decide what the real plan is here. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, you gain one. As a ranger, we kind of want to be in the back, like behind something. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one. These, by the way, are temporary valor. So they'll go away at the end of combat. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, you gain one temporary valor. I probably want this one. I can probably do this more reliably. So we'll take Valorous Audacity. And when you level up, it's kind of randomized. So you'll get one that has plus two, and then you'll get two that are just increases of one. And uh, naturally, we want this double deck. So that was a very good roll for us. Fantastic. Well done, Apatia. It does feel a little quiet as well. Although the combat music sounded loud, didn't it? Hmm. About ambience. Turn everything up just a touch. Sorry, you know, new game, new series. Gotta fiddle with the sound, of course. Now up here we have our fatigue. When this fatigue gets low, we need to rest. And I can sprint around uh, later, though. Not right now. The Plateau Stables. Hello. Why is this green? I can press Alt to very faintly highlight anything I can interact with. Uh, this is stealing. Hello. When I think of how many people don't shoe their ponies, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. Does, does Bill have a shoe? No. He has a saddlebag. Assuming that goes in that slot? Okay, cool. Tell you what. Buy a horse from us, and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to buy a horse right now. Although the war in Edoran has been a boon for my business, I cannot help but feel for my poor ponies. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Otherwise, they would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. They really want me to buy a pony. Okay, pony. It's 180. No, we need to keep money. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure we'll be back. Like I said, the ponies are really good for carrying stuff. So, as our as we carry more and more junk with us, I would. Uh, I'm probably gonna be doing it. As it stands, we have four days of food and. 
quite a bit before we had to pay wages, but of course, progress made your discoveries have earned you a knowledge point. I love knowledge. So this is the compendium. This is how we improve everything. Workshop. How do I have access to this? Well, anyway. We'll probably be in this basic stuff for a while. Run is one such thing. We can run for a short period of time, and I'm definitely getting that. Walking is slow. But uh, there's going to be a lot that I'm picking up here. Stromkap. This is the first city. We will be here a lot. So I hope you all get used to it. And I think I'm just going to visit everything one by one. So let's start in the forge. Hello. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. By the way, there are loads of quests throughout the game. And a lot of them are just like hinted at. And you got to explore. Ah, yes, I get... How do I check my team? The Vagabond Cadets. How do I change that? Can I change that? <laughs> I'm not a Vagabond. Actually, I probably am. Is it here? Yes. So we can choose professions, and I have once. These professions provide a passive benefit, and of course, um, allow you to craft stuff. So we have two... The Tinkerer and the Blacksmith. The Tinkerer gives crit hit. And the person who wants this the most is Apathia. So Apathia shall be the Tinkerer. And shall Magnus be our Blacksmith? No, Raycor shall be the Blacksmith. Alright, Raycor, what can we forge? If anything. Nothing. These are held in the offhand, and you can throw them to consume them. So I, I probably want to try and make one of these as soon as possible to get the crit hit on Apathia. Guard. Huh. And of course, uh, our team's armor is pretty trash. I'd like to improve that as soon as possible. How about the town hall? Who's here? Lady Mayoress Gontre. Are you mercenaries? Indeed. I'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts. Oh, I'm not a refugee. Why, you ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Oh. Erdogan is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. Huh. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of honest folk in need of help to fend off the refugee menace. Well... Thank you, Lady Mayoress, to bringing me to a great point. Each zone has this. The question mark, question mark, question mark. Which uh, is its own scenario. And you can follow its progress here. So each zone will have its own scenario story that you can influence. I don't know if... They tend to have two sides. And here in Ezerin, or Tiltrin, it's refugees versus the people who live here. And I don't know if it actually matters who you side with. But uh, we'll see. We'll see later. These are all merchants. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Oh, hey, look. There's the barber kits. And uh, this was added much later, but we can actually be like a merchant caravan. And I want to do that. I love trading. I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. Uh, I'll need to come back here later for food. How do I learn cook? I need that. Learned Alchemist. I think Fabe is going to be our alchemist. I'm sure there's a button to go here quickly. So alchemy gives plus one dex. Yes. I just realized something. Ah, it's fine. Alchemy is very important. Because this is probably the most reliable way to get medicine. Uh, which I cannot create. But I already have five. So like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Every time a skill deals damage, there's third chance to increase strength. So yeah, there's also oil. I believe you just put that on your weapon and call it done. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Thanks. And it's also incredibly expensive. Uh, we've had everything but the feast's end. Oh, why are you purple? Hello. You. Yeah, you. You looking for work? Of course. 
I can give you tips and point you toward the best missions. The kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. Thanks. This requires this influence. Use to recruit new companions to perform certain actions. I think these are hints for the scenario. I think. Of course. You'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts. Is it? I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I didn't. One second. Okay. Just cranked up the voices. Might she be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all... Yes. Oh, right. This is how we get quests. Okay. Because money is very important. Money is how we pay everybody. Money is how we buy new stuff. You get the gist. Money is always important. And we can get some quests here. These ranks, I think, are uh, important to pay attention to. So we'll just grab the easy ones. Uh, Ellen, Ellen Lil squad must be stopped. The guards seem unable to deal with this issue single-handedly. Okay. That's off there in the east. The Ragrol game is off to the south. Now, I don't believe these are important to the story. Uh, this is just ways for us to level up, get experience, get gold, and do stuff. Uh, a handful of Adorians have gone to Silka's forest. This is in the west. Free Mount Altus Tower. Let's see where this is. That one says hard, but I actually don't think it is. I can't remember. Now, the tavern is also where we can find new friends. I've had enough of my nightmare neighbors. Take me far away. These are pretty much random. Um, random people that we can recruit. And they tend to have one positive effect. Or, you know, trait. Nothing scares me. And I'm a You're a quick learner, but you're a ranger and you have one of those. And last but not I'd least. Like to discover a new place. A spearman. Okay, on. You are cooperative. Damage increased by 10% if next to an ally, but you're also unlucky. But I do want a spearman. I do... You're also a tinker. So I can recruit him for 30 influence and 60 gold. And I shall. Ukeon has joined the troops. Your troops consider him friendly. Well, that's convenient. I can also rename him. And I'm going to. He has been renamed to Maleficar, and the other companions approve. Now, if you're curious why I renamed him to Maleficar, it's because the Spearmen have my favorite profession for them, is the pseudo-support, the Herald. And the moment, when I was thinking of a team composition, it's like, wait a minute, a Herald of the Dark Gods. And so that's, that's Maleficar. Now, Spearmen actually can be really funny, or really good, but I'll have to wait. I guess he can keep Tinker for now. It's not that big of a deal. We don't have other professions yet. So, Hello. It's not often you see new faces around here. Well, apart from the Edoranian war refugees, that is. I think I won this apple pancake. All right, I'll buy the pancake. Feel free now, to come it back is... Well, there's always folk looking for work around here. Yes, there is thievery, and I just unlocked it by just clicking on it. And uh, I suppose Maleficar can be a thief. What do you do again? Dex. Does Dex increase spear damage? I don't actually remember. I don't think so. Well. What if Maleficar is our tinker and Apache is our thief? I guess it doesn't matter right now. That kind of makes sense, though, doesn't it? I know what I want Magnus to be already. There are ten professions. I actually really enjoy the professions. The idea of the professions in this game. We'll find out if I enjoy it. All right, we'll swap them. But the Dark Gods. He crafts. Okay. Let's skedaddle. These merchants also can have really good stuff. I keep trying to use WSD. 
I think I have to open the map to look at the the wider the wider Might world. I interest you, my humble wares, my good sirs? Uh, no. Yes, there we go. So I might just go crump this real quick. Can I put down markers or anything? No. I actually think you can. That's what I think it is. Of course it is. It's the best mechanic in any video game ever. <laughs> oh, I don't have a hook. No. Wait, can I? Yes, so I can go to camp. The heck is this? This one has no particular meaning for ordinary morals, but a scholar might learn something from it. Oh. Can I learn scholar by just going here? I don't know what scholar is. So, okay. We can put a tinker... How do, am I doing it right? There we go. Okay. I think the achievements are bugged, team. <laughs> or am I making progress on those achievements? I don't know. Anyway, with the tinker can be assigned to the workshop, and here he can create things such as the fish hook. Boom. And every time you make something for the very first time, you get knowledge. So you're incentivized to make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what do we need right now? I could get the location markers. Why can't I get... Oh, I need two. Do I just wait for two knowledge points? Or... I can learn the friendship necklace. Oh, right. And you can... There's these. The campfire plus. Generates an extra happiness during each rest if at least one companion is assigned. Bonus. Improves happiness-related bonuses and bonus you can burn wood to create coal. I need to make a cooking pot. The workshop plus. The assigned tinker produces two things during... I think by default it's just one. You can dismantle low-value weapons, armor, and accessories to obtain one. So I want that soon, but not yet. And then, yeah, I think I have to make that stuff first. Okay. I might just wait, to be honest. Career plans allows you to spend influence to get an additional level up, which might be really good to get early. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> don't. But it could be. Okay, what am I doing? Agnes. I believe it's one, one hook. Her, I did not. Okay. Like every time you come here, it takes one hook. So I'll get three fish for one hook. Yeah. Fishing is the best thing in any video game ever. <laughs> I love fishing. I don't know why. It's like, even this, this is one of the most basic fishing in the game, or across games. It's actually probably not as basic as WoW's, but I just love fishing. It's also a very reliable stream of food, which can be a huge problem. Especially if I can figure out how to get cooking. That would be very important. Now, there is mining in this game. And I did want Magnus to be a miner. But then I came across the fishing camp and... Uh, the rest, as they say, is history. The guard outpost in the Sinister Cave. Oh, it's a purple event. To think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. That Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorize the Orkles. But when it comes to facing the guard, that's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? He's holed up in there. It's been three days and still he won't surrender. Bertram knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. Oh. That's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. And once you've gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. 
We'll make it worth your while, I promise. All right. I love things that are worth my while. I can cut wood, too. Uh, I don't have a woodcutter. I didn't even know a woodcutter was a profession. What does it do? Strength. Naturally. Do I need wood? I'll give it to Raycor for now, sure. We can freely switch between professions, but I think... Place the cursor on the wood cutting circle. Press left click when the green circle overlaps the gray to collect more wood. I think you have to reach the next stage before you can switch and retain Oops, your level. Missed that last one. But I So I think you just lose experience in between stages, but you don't actually lose the actual stage. Because it's going to be a while before we have enough people to have all of the... Which one? You. Ah! Mercenaries! Did Fergus send you to help us? No. Rowan hired you to kill me? Yes. I beg of you, don't do this! We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know. We, we have no choice if we want to survive. Rovan is the one who must die. I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more. And you would be doing a good deed. Are you sure? Once he is gone, the farmers of children will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain. It's the only solution. Wait, so what you're telling me is once he's gone, the farmers of children will have no more defense, and then you can more easily bully them. That's what I just heard. I'm not okay with that. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna side with the refugees team. Like I understand they're they're in a pickle, right? But the people lived here. So Bertram is the leader, and he has the leader's aggression. Critical hit increased by forty percent. I believe this buff is in effect for as long as he is alive. I think. Probably. Hmm. I don't know where I want Apathia. This red circle is the cave collapsing, and if anyone's on top of it, I think it one-shots you. Yeah. If I could push, that'd be funny. Push him into it. Well, I don't think he would stay in it. I might have to tie someone up with a patio, which is not what I want to do. But, you know, you do what must be done. So what I could do is I could attack. How's this work again? I would attack you and then talk. Oh, no, I fucked up. Because taunting engages you as well. All right. Well, I chose who went correctly, so that's nice. I don't know why it was doing that, that thing. I don't really want Maleficar to tie somebody up. I can't reach. It's unfortunate. But, you know, you do what must be done. Oh, you don't tie people up. You knock them back. Okay, sometimes you don't do what must be done. Be careful not to hit uh, Magnus here. A beautiful crit. In fact, this might... No. Yeah, this could have been better. I was hoping she'd hit her friend there. This could have been a lot better. I might be able to kill that guy. Which would reduce the damage that Magnus takes. I have to use a Valor for it. Eh. Messy turn. Apathia is not in the Rockfall. Pain. 
suffering poison. I believe he has a fancy dagger that's an AoE. Okay. Can I get Babe to kill that? I definitely want to get a new spear. This might be a kill. Beautiful, Fabe. Marvelous. Oh, we're galvanized. All right, that's this bar up here. When we're galvanized, we deal loads more damage. Oh. There are torches on the ground. I can throw those, I think, actually. I think those are new. All right, I'm going to taunt Bertram so I take less damage. And I'll smack him. Why not? Magnus is bleeding, dying. It'll be fine. 22 from Apathia. Some actions grant 10 valor points. It must be used before the battle ends or they shall be lost. Indeedly do. All right, let's see if I can get in a good spot here. Nope. Beautiful. Unlock the trait, Glorious. Your opponent is demoralized and flees. Will you let them? Never. You crave on dog. Your group is overtired. Your companions might die of exhaustion if you keep walking. You really should rest. Oh, die of exhaustion, you say. The ringleader's dagger, three star. Wow. Eight decks and the devious whirlwind skill. Immortal bloom. Okay, cool. I shall repair all, and I shall heal all, because Magnus was wounded. Oh, hi. So, Bertram is dead. Indeed. My men and the good citizens of Tiltran will be glad to hear it. I must commend you for your courage and your devotion to our cause. Here is the reward the Lady Mayoress promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Thanks, bro. The villagers no longer have to fear Bertram. Indeed. A golden key. Okay. I'm gonna leave and come back, because I can make a lockpick. But as the game is warning us, we must camp. You can rest at a campfire in your camp. Feed your troops and pay their wages to avoid unrest. Resting refills your fatigue meter, restores valor points, and speeds up time. Magnus has gained a level. Oh, and he gets to pick his class. Okay. So we get to choose Sword Master, which I think is more for like two-handed uh, sword boys. The Fighter, which gives us heavy armor. This gives medium, uh, giving a plus two con and destabilizing kick or protector, providing plus two con, heavy armor and encouragement. This unit and all allies in the area gain protection for two rounds. I think we're going to go protector because I wanted him to be my sword and board boy. Now, unfortunately, the double roll hit on crit, which normally is a pretty good thing, but for our sword and board boy, we're going to con. Take that one con. So, let's put this in. I need three. Any of these are three? No. Well, that's fine. We'll have another fish. There are also dietary restrictions. The refugee leader has caught wind of your actions. He wishes to meet you in Haven. Okay. Eternal dissatisfaction there. The camp has produced two of those because of our tinkerer. Thank you, Maleficar. I appreciate it. And Apatia. Hmm. If I were to equip this... Oh, looking at the skill. What is the weapon? Thanks, plus tail. I actually really enjoy stab because when you're ambushing, like when you're behind somebody, you have an increased crit hit chance of 30%. But this is just so much, so many leagues above better that I think I have to use it for now. Deals 10 damage to all units in an area. If this attack hits several units, creates a cloud of poison under each of them. There are poison builds, and there's also the straight up murdering builds. And I haven't determined what I want to do yet for good old Apatia. Stuck on a rock. Natural. Natural. Those are guards there. 
We... Yeah, there's a suspicion bar here. <laughs> with wanted level. Good old GTA. That, of course, as you steal more things, even if you don't get caught right away... Um... Your suspicion bar will... Oh, there it is! I actually didn't remember that. The sharp bang. Critical hit against bleeding targets is increased by 10%. All wooden figure and 12 crowns. Do I do bleed? I don't think I do. Hmm. Oh, I also need to make a lockpick. I'll make two. Because it is a lockpick minigame. Uh that may I may or may not succeed in. I should probably make this rope. Especially since I got all this knowledge. Love knowledge. Okay, yeah, I know. Thanks. Go away. Miss being the world is increased by 5%. Sounds good. I thought I wanted career plans, though. That's fine. I need... Influence will be difficult to come by for a little bit. Misanthropic troop. Companions who are on bad terms can toughen up by aggravating their quarrels even more. On the relationship screen, two enemies can use the insult action to gain the sociopath trait for 300 influence. <laughs> On the relationship screen, two best friends can use the buy a drink action to cancel one negative trait each for 300 influence. That must be new. I have one more. And I might use rationing. It's not that big of a deal yet. Yes. Why do I have an exclamation mark here? I do not know. Oh, I can make a torch. Although I'm not sure how to get grease. You gotta be honest. Okay. I guess I can take rationing. Like I said, food... Food right now is fine, but that'll change. As we get more people, as we move on in the world. Might I interest you in my humble wares? Nope. I think there there are armor merchants, right? They have like the armor symbol. And then there are some merchants that um like glowing gold or something. What am I looking for? Oh, they're up here. There's also roving packs of animals in the forests. But we're about to... Ambusher. Alien Yield the Green. Your companions have just ambushed their targets and will have advantage in the fights. Sounds good to me. Leader's Protection. Reduces damage taken. Oh my. Nice hat, lady. Oh, yeah, hats are new as well in the, the patch. Why is everyone so slow? Hey, you can get in. You can just barely not get in to, to tie up that person. Hmm. Gonna bring her over here. Okay. She can tie up the boss. That's fine. Alright, fine by me. I kinda want Fabe to use this, although I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Do I go here? Uh, how do I use this? Oh, there we go. Uh. I had to use deafness here, but... I think I want to wait then? I'm just going to go tie the boss. It's fine. It's probably fine. 
Once upon a time, just engaging the boss was enough to take away the um, the thing. Oh, right, I forgot to check out Glory. Ow! Glorious was. Well. That will provide protection. Be good smack. Ah, uh, Raycor might die. Let's see. I'm going here because I don't want to knock them off the engage. Wait, there's one more person? Oh yeah, this guy hasn't acted yet. I don't think this will hit Marcus. Nope. Wait, it doesn't actually just poison on regular attack? Ugh. Oh, you have a targeting weapon. Oh. A targeting weapon means it's going to take a turn uh, before it does anything. I got a poison off. Raycor. No. A dying unit can only move. If you heal them before they take damage, they will be able to fight again. If not, they will be permanently lost. Uh, so that means I need to kill that. Now. Or engage it. That works too. Uh, I have Temporary Wrath. Let's go ahead and use this. Temporary Valor, excuse me. And you can just waddle away. Okay. I guess you just do this. Can he attack your opportunity while he's charging? I don't actually know. Let's find out. He can. Okay. Oh, and it canceled his charge. That's curious. But we did this just to keep Raycor alive. Alright, well, this was a dead idea. <laughs> but, uh, hey, this is what it is. Trying. Excuse me. There we go. Deafness is really convenient. There is no way I would have made that. Well, this was a silly idea from you. <laughs> Apatia, if you would. Thank you. Double kill. Now, unfortunately, Apatia's actions have... Um, Resulted in there being these poison clouds on the floor. Uh, which is going to require some delicate positioning on my behalf. I also do not possess any healing for Raycor, so I'm just going to continue waddling her. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Wow, Glorious is barking like crazy. 100%. Take the shot. She is so tanky. But note to self, don't throw my brute into the middle of combat. Can I hit you from here? Yes. The spear does have bonus uh, range. The downside, of course, is that now I can't spin to win on a Apatia without moving. The poison is doing work, though. Big proud of the poison. There you go. I think we'll just get Fabe to take a shot here. I don't know if the AI ever disengages. Use deafness. Let's take the shot. It's fine. Oh, thanks, Fabe. Well, I poisoned it a lot of work there. We'll just full repair and, of course, heal. Raycor's wounds. Fugitive's hammer. A one-handed mace. Oh. Okay. I completed a contract. I did. I did do that. 
Breakor is level 2, granting her a plus 2 strength roll. Fantastic. Destroyer. Plus 2 con, heavy armor, and weakening blow. I think this is for the tanky. Smasher. Medium armor, poisoned impact. Oh. Really? Poison on a barbarian? Applies 2 poison to bleeding units. Oh. And Vanguard. Medium armor and relentless charge. Uh, relentless charge is kind of OP. So. That's what we're taking. Now, the hammer we just got... It's hammer time. Is a one-handed hammer, correct? Yes. But it also is a lot more damage. Yeah. So, I will be losing some of my AoE capabilities, but because Apatia currently is rocking the spinny dagger, um, I guess all's well that ends well. Magnus, if you would be so kind. Emperor Magnus. Fish for me. I don't know what the benefit of be of Woodsman is. Like, I kind of want Raycor to be a blacksmith. I feel like that's what the ch the first chief yes, of the barbarians would do. Oh, hey, look. I'm an apprentice angler already. Well done, Magnus. You're the emperor of mankind for a reason. Okay. So every level we gain a bonus. I think it said that I can construct additional... Yeah, I can craft 30 fishing hooks, but I also gained plus two crit hit, which isn't great, <laughs> actually. Perhaps Magnus needs a different profession. If we're trying to min-max stats here, which, don't get it twisted, I'm not. But, uh... Willpower is something that I think everyone needs. Because I believe... Is it 12? At a certain willpower, you get one chance to not die. Okay, right, let's help the guard here. You there! If you are so inclined, you could give us a hand. But if you're just loitering about, be on your way. Okay. I can attack the guard. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, the reason you'd want to do that, I think, is just so you can steal their their loot. Some characters are important. If they die, the battle will end. Important allied characters must be protected and important enemies captured. Oh. Good news, everyone. Oh, that's not where I want you. It's honestly really not a good spot, but he is providing me with this inc insane movement. Honestly. Okay. I don't know who's going where, but... This is my first turn. That Valor. Don't shoot me. There was a slim chance he would have shot me. Go in. Tank it up. Okay. I think it is... Raycor's turn? Sure. Raycor will uh, take a smack here. One of the special things about this weapon is it ignores guard, but I don't think that's important on pigs. Ah, it is. You're moving. She will die to poison. Now, unfortunately, uh, whenever a pig dies... Can I actually tie you up? No. Whenever a pig dies, it will apply fury. Or rather... For pigs, their passive is that they apply fury to... They gain fury when something dies. Sorry. For whatever reason, wording that was difficult. 
So as we kill things, it would theoretic, in theory, be more difficult to kill them. That, that was a fun synergy. I moved him out of the poison, and he had to move back into it to get the attack. I enjoyed that. Good combo. I did not read the percentages there because the number is so small, but I think it worked out in the end. Oh, by the way, the reason why I... Where does this go? Look at that. Look at this insanity. It's beautiful. Um, oh, and I can capture them as well. It's rope to knock out animals that you can then get in your party, and it's chains, I think, for humans that you can then sell. We're in the medieval era, okay? Slavery is still in. Actually, you're turning him into the guard, but, you know. I had to make a joke about this. Galvanization! That's not a very good out-of-context joke, though. Why are you walking into poison, lady? When an enemy has less than half their health left, use chains or rope to capture them. There we go. Now, I can capture boars and throw them into the group composition, but like I said, their thing is that each time an allied animal dies, this unit gains fury. And I'm not really too keen on that. Like, you can use them as... as bait. But why would I do that? You know? The enemy flees. Almost. You're too far away, I think. Okay, camera. Oh. Now, the reason to kill all these pigs is to get food. Win a fight using only temporary VPs. Cool. Yeah, we get these carcasses, which are really heavy. Uh, pork. Bang, leather, it's all good. And the guards have thanked you for your help, giving us an influence. Babe has gained a level. I'll take the deck, the crit. The double crit, or do I take the decks? Double crit. Valor's audacity. Wait, isn't this the same as a ranger? Hmm. I probably want Valorous supports. So whenever I end my turn next to an ally, and I am not engaged, which as a ranger or archer, I don't want to be engaged. The border crossing. I think I need a lot of money for this. I may not look wealthy, but if you pay for my passage, you won't regret it. Trust me. My cousin runs a tavern in the city of Gossenburg. If you can lend me the money, I promise he will pay you back threefold. I'm not lying. He truly does exist. You have to believe me. I like how he says, I'm not lying, he exists, and not, I'm not lying, he will pay you back. 200. I actually could afford that. But we're pretty far away from Gossenburg, so. I don't have enough money to cross the border. Okay. We're not a charity, you know. You need an official pass to enter Gossenburg. Unless you are willing to pay. Up to you. Okay, so it's not that expensive. 200 is not as bad as I thought it was. Or we can get a pass, but... I think that's like a later on thing. A you have done work, here's a pass sort of thing, you know? Not there yet. Was I just attacked? Fine, I'll fuck you up. You haven't been attacked by refugee bandits. Really? I really want to spin to win. This is making me incredibly greedy. This dagger. Because now I'm going to get attacked by this guy, yeah. Ow, it hurts. He has the basic poison dagger. But what I can do here is I can charge. 
Perfect. Stay out of the poison. Then kill this lady. No arrows for you. Instant galvanization. And Raycor. Just went into to turn. Magnus. Judonga. Oh, you have a name. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see you. That's fine. Um, I guess Magnus can take a hit. Surround it. Surround and engage enemy with two allies to get a bonus. Oh, Shank. Shank. All right. I don't think I can actually reach this spear throw, so I'll just go ahead and uh, take a shot. I'll go ahead and take a shot. I don't actually know if I needed to. Your enemies are demoralized and wish to flee. <laughs> no. There is no fleeing. You're the ones that wanted this. Okay? I didn't want this. You wanted this. Ooh. A beautiful shot, Malefica. Our herald, the Dark Gods. I don't think it was worth it to get all that damage taken. Please have mercy, good sirs. Have mercy on us. There is we no. Didn't attack you to hurt you. Believe me, we only wanted to scare you, so that you would hand over your crowns. Please don't hurt me. It was wrong, and we knew it. But Gossenberg requires so much gold to cross the border. That we had no other choice. We have no other choice but to rob travelers. You know, that's fair. Why is the reward a raider's bow? <sighs> it's fair. She had no choice. But now, this is the consequence of your actions. Execute. You may not have had a choice. But it doesn't matter to me. You made your choice. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Uh, no. Not really. How do I move the camera? I know I can. I thought I could. Ah, that's right, mouse. Ah, gotcha. I'm an enjoyer of WASD. In case that wasn't obvious. A humble woodland farm. But we must rest. A haystack. This haystack could serve either as a makeshift bed for a companion, or as a tasty snack for a pony. Decision, decisions. Oh. There you go. I mean, technically I get one more valor out of it, so... I probably want to just throw all the carcasses in because I think they're two pounds a pop. It's really heavy. Uh, I'm almost there. Throw in an apple. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, once we get our happiness to 15, I think... As long as we maintain it at 15, we'll get some influence every rest. So that actually is pretty important. Speaking of important. I would like... Two more? Another one of these. I might need a lockpick. I'll craft a piton as well. To give me some knowledge... I don't know what the... There has to be a deficit to cannibalism. I don't know what it is. Oh, a sturdy hook. Requires bait. A sturdy hook that can catch additional fish. Hmm. I kind of want career plans. 
I feel like it'd be strong to be able to get bonus stats early on. Does that make sense? Hello? A plague rat bit my husband while he was out chopping wood, and Stromcap has cast us out. Ever since, I've had a very hard time finding enough food for him. Oh. I've nothing to offer in return, but could you take care of him? What do you mean, take care of him? I heard what my wife told you. She's right, you know. I will eventually turn against her. Do what you must. I'd rather die than hurt her. So I can execute him for infected blood. I can recruit him for five pork. Do I think I have? I have exactly five pork. Um, are you worth recruiting, Mr. Taurus? You are a warrior. Sure, we don't have a warrior. I'll take you. I heard what my wife told you. Here we go. Your companions are happy. Great. Now, as a warrior, warriors use axes. And as you can see, he comes with a big one. But I'm kind of interested in... Well... Can equip a second axe and swap weapons in combat. Huh. I shouldn't even look at these. We're we're so far away from those, it's not even ridiculous. I go Berserker. Deal three times wait what? Deals three times more two to four damage to the target. What? I think that's saying it deals that damage three times. And there's Executioner, which deals three damage to all units in the target area, attacks one time for each unit in the target area. There's going to be a huge AoE. Or there's Sentinel, which is Heavy Armor and Ovation. All allies engaged in combat gain repost. Ooh. That could be good. This makes it so that if they're engaged, they hit back. Um, I currently don't have too many people that want to be engaged. Like, Maleficar doesn't really want to be engaged, but he can in time. Raycor, I guess, could be engaged. Magnus, of course. And perhaps Taurus himself. I guess we'll take Sentinel. Sure, why not? As for our points... We rolled a double crits... Con. I'll take the double crit. Okay. I don't think crit is worth investing in for the Sentinel. But I took it. May the all-seeing eye give me the strength. May it do that. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Okay. Rotate the pick and press left click to insert it into the lock. The closer the pick is to an opening, the more it lifts up. But if it jiggles too much, it might break. Nailed it. The prayer book. It is dedicated to the eye and to Jiro. Okay. Not sure what all that is, but I'll take it all. Thanks, lady. Anything else in here? No. So, Taurus is sick, but I believe I can... You do not have any medicine for this injury. Oh. Medicine doesn't work. Okay. That's fine. There is plague medicine. I can't make any right now, but... That's fine. We can waddle back towards Stromcat. I have a quest to turn in anyway. And I would like to do some crafting. Now, it sounds like uh, Taurus is a woodcrafter. And I'm not, I'm actually not going to change his name. Uh, because, you know, he's like a special character. I don't actually know if he's special, but. He is there in other playthroughs. I've seen him. Oops. We didn't have wood. Now, I'm not sure how much editing I want to do for this series. Like, I want to do, I'll end up doing some. Because it. 
I start running low on food, I'm going to have to do a lot of food. On food, I'm going to have to do a lot of repetitive boar fights and stuff. But, um, you can let me know if you want me to... Shall we go aid the guard again? If you want me to edit out fights or long traversing, like now we're heading back to Strong Cap. If you are so inclined, help me. Help us. Help me, Anakin. Uh, or other things I can edit out. <laughs> other things that I totally am thinking about. I am concerned about Apatia because I'm just going to run her in. I also should have moved Rekor. But I saw the opportunity and I took it. <laughs> How much health do you have left? Five. Nope. No fleeing. So I don't think I ever actually explained Wrath, but it deals damage to a target below as a 50% health or whatever. And if you kill them, you get Fury. So if you deal good damage... It's a good way to, to finish off something. 70%. Nailed it. For a second I thought he shot Apatia. Wolves are actually not a bad thing to pick up. If you plan on taming wolves. You know, of taming animals. Just because they, I think they can deal bonus damage based on how many wolves you have. So you can like create a wolven legion. The problem, of course, is that, well... You have to feed them. And they only eat meat. There's also special wolves, I think. Like white wolves and... There are ghost units, but I... I don't know how to find them. Maleficar, our spearman, also has all this crap. And he's going to grab Valorous support, I think. He too would like to stand next to friends. Not great rolls here. Uh, the con... Crits. I'll grab the movement. The, crit, the double crit wouldn't have been bad, but... Maleficar has a negative trait that reduces his... His crit anyway. There you know. Hello, Apothecary. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Yes. Be sure to... I need one of those. I don't believe I can actually craft the cure for the plague yet. Nope, but I can make one medicine. I don't know where I found the snow iris, but... One medicine is good for me. And now... There you go, Taurus. You're back to normal. Whatever normal is for you. Might she be looking for work? Here is Thank you. I can now grab a new quest. This is easy now. Fight Matthias Lund. This is like a champion fight, and I'm pretty sure it's really hard. But that's on the way to where we were going, so very good. I don't know if it's worth picking up anyone here. A warrior, another archer, a brute. I don't want snore. Brawny, vegetarian, ugh. They're probably insufferable. This warrior might not be bad. Solitary and thick skins. But I think we're good for now. Remember, for each person we have in the party, we have to pay them, we have to feed them, we have to get equipment for them, which right now I have very little. You know how it is. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and Ooh. I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. Wait. This is buy for four, price temporarily reduced five. Is that trying to tell me that it's normally five gold and I can buy them for four so it's a reduced price? Or is that saying that it's four, but the price is temporarily reduced to five, which doesn't make a lack of sense? But uh, those are very important, so I will purchase them all. Now, Raycor... You are a woodcutter, but I want you to be my blacksmith. I 
I remember in an earlier version of the game, I think you just needed an axe to cut wood. It wasn't an actual profession. My, how things change. Uh, I do want this. I want this as well. And I want this. I want so many things. I'll take the throwing knife. And I'll take the rags. Oh, this metal plate, uh, the metal plates are heating. Press left click when a plate is red hot to forge your item. Press left click when the metal plate sparks to forge an item of superior quality. Hit all the plates at the right time to forge an item of exceptional quality. Okay. Holy shit, I only hit one. Really? Okay. About to go off the sound? I think I do. Yep, it's sound. Got it. Nailed it. We all need rags, by the way, so I'm just going to make them all. Those, um... Those circles? Aw. I missed one. Those circles are like gem slots. I call them armor layers. But we'll get more of those later. Alright. Magnus needs this. We'll take the big boy one. As our big boy tank, of course. Raycor needs one. Excuse me. There you go. Just right click. And Taurus needs one. Okay. Anyone need one of these? Five, five, eight. Babe is five. Apatia. Yeah, you take this. Okay. Cool. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. Uh -huh. If you happen to know one. Not really. Do you know how to make people bleed? Master Horse, whatever your name is. All right, Apatia, there you go. Now she has this cool little dagger, but it also increased her crit by chance and her chance by 3%, and she can throw it if, you know, she needs to. And I believe, there we go. Anywhere else I want to go? I don't think so. I think we're heading out. I think we're heading out. Should I go to the... The prison. I can. Give it a shot. Need to camp first, though. This might be the first time we have to pay. Uh, sorry, Taurus. How much I can do for you yet? I guess I can see if I can make anything here. No iron. Rope. Yeah, I want to make a tent. I need leather and iron for that. Alright. In due time, Horus. In due time. Is wages next rest? I think it is. Uh, wolf meat. I need one. Ah, eh, that's fine. Just have a little fun guy. No big deal. Almost. Oh! Hey. These are the paths. I accidentally opened this up right at the start of the, the episode. As you do challenges, you progress down these various paths. So it looks like I have achieved one, an explorer. What does this give me? I... One PP. One PP. Which I guess is this to try and get me to level two, which will unlock something. 
do have two knowledge points. Oh. I can now learn... Apprentice Blacksmith Sets. Hmm. Is it worth learning these? It could be. Could be. I'm going to take career plans, though. Restoration is probably also something we'll want in the future. As we get better and better. What's this? Oh. Got a new PP. Just know what this stands for. Progress points, maybe? It's just funny to say it that way. I can attack those guys. weird. I'm assuming they're just farmers. The Tiltron Jail. Shall we go have a chat? Hello. The Lady Mayoness has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. Toothpaste. Oh, this is in the patch notes. I think this gives you a buff. Of some kind. Ether. We'll buy two chains. So when you capture an outlaw, you can turn them in for money and they can it will reduce your suspicion. So if you're on a thieving spree, uh, you know, go capture some outlaws. You can also recruit people from the jail for by paying off their bail or whatever, but they tend to have negative traits. Like, this lady has two of them. You have two of them. Eh. So it's usually not worth it. From my understanding. I believe you can also recruit... Uh, bandits under your team. If you're... Interested. Fishing! The best mechanic. In every video game. <laughs> That's why Emperor Magnus, of course, is the one who fishes for us. A feast worthy of the Emperor of Man. Or at least of the Empire. There are lots of different types of men in Warhammer Fantasy, but... Usually when you think of them, you think of... During an extra rest, you have to pay your commander. There we go. Yeah. So we could... These guys are prisoners, which leads me to believe I can... Can slash should just capture them again? I can spin to win. I can spin and I can fucking win. I mean, that seems fine to me. To be honest. Everyone can get in and do their business. Spin to win. Uh, that's going to get me in so much trouble. Like, one of these days is going to screw me over. How big is this? I think that's good enough. I don't think so. I don't know, team. I feel like that's not enough. I'm not sure who's going. Ah, oh, it's this guy, I guessed correctly. Well done. Well done, me. Uh, so now I'd like to tie up this dude. I believe I can stand here. Yeah. If you surround a friend, well. Yeah. If you surround a friend, they get a bonus. But, uh, you know. Oh, I was going to tie him up. That's fine. You can switch your engagement all you want. I don't like how it keeps dragging me back. Because 
<laughs> Easy galvanize. And Taurus, unfortunately, cannot help. Oh, oh, a beautiful execution. Unfortunately, Apathia is going to get swung out here. Or not. Never mind. Take it back. All right, Fabe. You are very stuck. We'll go ahead and deafness. A hey, the deafness is just clean. It allows me to make up for pretty much any mistake. Spin to win. Sure. You wish to flee? Never. And we'll let Maleficar take this final kill. A beautiful execution, if I do say so myself. Easy. A deserter's brigandine. Oh, I was supposed to capture them, wasn't I? Well. <laughs> That's fine. So this is a medium armor. With guard nine, armor nine. Who wears medium armor? I think... You can? No, you don't get to pick yet. Babe doesn't get to pick yet. He'll be wearing light armor. So I guess Magnus can just have this. So I believe guard. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But it tends to be based off of your shield. And it reduces damage when people are attacking you from the front? I think? So I'm going to give it to someone who doesn't use a shield right now. Bill leveled up. Well done, Bill. Now, for Bill, if we're going to have him as a work pony, which I most certainly am, the only stats that are useful are con and con. <laughs> so, yeah, let's level up con. That increases his carrying capacity because he's a work pony. Bill doesn't need to get involved in the fight. They sent Bill back at the gates of Moria. You think I'm going to get that guy involved in a fight in a scrap? Where's them refugees? We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How do you know? You seers or something? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. Never mind. Leave us be. We've got refugees to clear out a Tiltron. I mean, you attacked me, bitch. So. I'm going to get my leather by beating you up. I don't know if this is normal, but I feel very strong right now. Heal the dying ally. Oh. Someone's missing. Who's not on the screen right now? Oh, hi. Um. Do I? I think I'm okay with this. so? Okay. Naturally, I have to start with a spin to win. Downside here is I didn't get in position for the additional valor point, but I can make up for it. Now, who do we think is going first? Don't know. Oh, can I hit them both? I cannot. That is unfortunate. Yeah. 
called it. Didn't know who was going first, but it didn't matter. Please let me move my camera. I don't know why it does that. That is actually infuriating. It like stickies on to someone. Yeah. That wasn't your smartest idea. <laughs> you. Oh. I thought the game crashed, but no, he was just bleeding. Alright, there's one person left, and I'd love to tie him up, but I don't think I can. Oh. Easy galvanize. Alright, Fabe. Where are you taking the shot? Probably right there. Wish I could stand next to somebody, but no one else is back here. With a little old me. I guess the good news is spears don't like to... They don't like to engage. Yeet. I could have knocked him out. There we go. It's like, wait a minute. I'm not attacking. Oop. Beautiful hit, Raycor. Your enemies wish to flee? Not permitted. Can I get another kill? I think I can. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, brutes are pretty good. So that we got the buckler of the guard. You don't think that'll be suspicious or anything because I'm not a guardsman, right? I don't think so. Ah, Apathia gets to choose. So there are three. Well, everyone has three options. There is Poisoner. I believe everyone here wears light armor for the ranger, so they're all light armor. But Poisoner makes it so that I can toss a poison vial, which applies poor or poison to all units in the area. It's poison on top of poison on top of poison. Now, poison is percentage-based damage, so this will not be overly effective right now. But it could be really good. Could be. I don't know. Strategist gives us smoke screen. Forces enemies engaged in the area to disengage. They incur an attack of opportunity from their opponents. This could also be very good. Or there's Cutthroat. This is a 2 AP action, or 2 Valor action, which deals 6 to 8 damage, and if you are ambushing, this performs 2 additional attacks. I think this is just the, the simplest, if you don't want to think too much about your strategies. You know, don't want to don't want to complicate things too much because you can poison your own friends with this. Uh, strategist requires the right situation. Although I am, I kind of want to test out poison. This dagger has done well, despite my running it down. <laughs> but cutthroat seems really good. You know what? Shall we poison? Let's go poison. I'm still gonna take crit hits though. I rolled a double crit. You can't tell me. You can't tell me otherwise. The uh, playthrough I saw during early access, they their ranger went cutthroat with the dagger type that increased their crit hit by 30% when they were in ambush, and they just deleted everything with frenzy. But I'll spice it up a little bit. Why not? Stop right there. This salt mine belongs to her ladyship Gontrand. I can't just let you walk in. So I can pay him 40 gold to walk in. I can threaten him for 60 suspicion. Or I can persuade him for 20 of our influence. I have a lot of influence and haven't found a use for it yet. So here you go. As you wish. We can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins anyway. I really don't understand why you were so keen to go in there. These iron veins, you say? Well, if only I had a miner. Taurus, would you like to become my miner? This is just like the wood jumping. More... Why did the game just center there? More accurately, 
Wood chopping is just like the mining. Because the mining came first. I don't know what I'm going to do with Taurus yet. I might make him a tanky boy. I guess it depends what weapons we find, right? You cleared out the iron deposits. Well done. We can get back to work. Oh, I get 20 influence. Look, that was a net positive for me. No, oh, that's dealing. Salt becomes very important once I figure out this cooking thing. I literally do not remember how to get it. I think... I just have to make it, right? Which I can make now. And I probably should. The Lund Farm. Oh, is this about Matthias? Oh. Matthias Lund? How could they? We didn't even put up a fight. And they still killed our precious Lucilla. Mad with grief, her father chased after them toward the mill. I hope he caught up with them. These thieves don't deserve to live. Ah. So... Aha. <laughs> they may not deserve to live, but, uh... Allow me to thieve just a little bit myself. Ooh. Beautiful. Third time's the charm. A roust ball. A trinket. This leather ball isn't worth much outside of the roust field. What is that? Oh, hey, Grease, I can make a torch. Miss Thief? You can steal using right click. Each thief increases the guard suspicion level. Wow! 55 to 105? That's a lot. That's a lot. I'll hit it. Oh, hey. I'm an apprentice thief. Reduces the amount of suspicion from all sources. I actually rolled really well there. It's 55 to 105, and I hit, uh, hit 58. Now, when you have suspicion, I believe as long as it's below one, it's not too crazy. But if you walk up to a guard, they'll want to take your, your stolen stuff. And now that I have this, I think I'll take... Where is it? This one. The suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. Our life of crime has only just begun. Bandits. Now, I could knock these guys out and bring them to the jail to remove my suspicion even swifter, which might be the play. There's an archer all over and they're lonesome. Fortunately, there is a spear, but I think it's too far away. I could bait them all over here and like corner camp. That could be funny. Do I have the patience for such a thing? I don't think I do. Where is Apathia? There she is. You better believe she's going to spin to win. Hmm. I appreciate this telling me it's based off strength. So what I could do... Is even though I can't reach the archer... Horus can... Spirit throw. Which might be the play. And I think Raycor is going to run down this archer. Apathia is going to fuck these guys up. Okay. I think we can have Magnus deal with this all on his own. He'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Apathia goes first. Beautiful. Can I get a double? Spin to win! <laughs> and I could still throw a knife. Like, I could just straight up kill this archer. Let's 
if I wanted to. But I do kind of want to. I don't know, I believe. It's expensive to make a knife. Ow. Rude. I don't know who's going next, of course, so I'm going to take uh, this guy. Magnus. Just tie up the archer so it doesn't shoot. It'll also die on the end of its turn. Fantastic. Look at it. I called it. And you are so dead. How did you not die? Okay. Faberu. Let's get a shot here. This guy might try and tie up Fabe. Stand there for the point. But uh, I'm just going to come for another spin to win. Spin to win. I could disengage that, but I could also come here and make sure you don't do anything spicy. Which is a good idea, in my book. Archer shot. Ooh, friendly fire. You'll love to see it. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Greeting, scrub. And then we'll waddle over here. Yeet. Cool animation. No damage. Oof. That's fine. Who do we think is going first? Spin to win. Uh. All right. It was that archer, by the way. Called it. We'll take a swing. Then I want Raycor to tie this one up. Unfortunately, I'm going to take this poison damage, but that is what it is. Ah, the one I didn't tie up. The one that got away. I'm going to start to take a heinous amount of damage. Can I hit? I can. I will engage, of course, because I'm still away, but I got that range. Babe, however, does not have that range. Take a swing, a swing, bada bada bada, swing. That's also kind of the problem with poison. Like, yeah, it's good consistent damage over time. But the whole point is to just murder them brutally. You know? Four damage, Raycor. I need to give her a shield. Please let me move. Thank you. Yellow. No fling. Only death. See? Only death. This hammer hits hard. Bear all, heal all, me more medicine. Got that poison dagger. Lock pick. The restoration picture that looks ridiculous. Magnus has reached the next level. Every time this unit engages in combat, gain one temporary valor points. Every time you attack, hit multiple enemies, gain one temporary valor. Or, this unit gains deflection. If they are engaged in combat, you gain one temporary valor. So this is an interesting ability because this is an actual ability. Meaning you can choose to do this or you can choose to swing your sword. And because Magnus's damage isn't great, this might actually be a good idea. I think I'm gonna take it. We'll take the double willpower as well. Uh, boost troops morale in combat also increases the critical hit at 15. Yeah, so at 15 points, this unit survives the first time they should die in combat once per encounter. So in a perfect world, everyone will have 15 willpower. I will be eating the stolen food. That way it's no longer stolen because it's in my belly. 
you know? And we shall pay our troops. That will give us additional experience and happiness. As long as the guard is after you, they will remember what you stole. That's impressive. Stolen items that are consumed, sold, discarded, or used for crafting will still count towards your total fine until you are no longer wanted. Fencing an item is the only other way to reduce your fine. There we go. We finally hit 15, so your companions are happy. You have gained 15 influence. So as long as I don't lose happiness in some weird situation, all I have to do is gain plus 2 here. Or here. To offset the minus 1. And then I will be happy. You want to talk? Let's talk. Oh, this is me. Hi, Fame. We must make do with what we have, and Taurus doesn't seem like a bad choice. Oh, okay. We can ignore Taurus to get two Valor, reduce my relationship with Taurus, and plus on a relationship with appreciated companions. I don't think we have any of those yet. We can celebrate to make a big deal of introducing Taurus to the group to gain happiness at the cost of Valor points, or I can befriend Taurus. Let's befriend Taurus. I don't know why I would do those other things. We're all jolly friends living on the edge for adventure. An adventure that will continue next time. A perfect ending, if I've ever said so. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to... This is the only way to pause. I hope you're looking forward to the continuation of this brand new series... War Tales is fun. Feel free to, make, to drop any pro tips. I know this game isn't exactly new. But uh, I'm all ears for ideas, names, companion suggestions, anything you feel like letting me know. Let me know. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay updated and have a channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I will see you next time as we continue our adventure in Tiltron County. Probably going to take care of that. Probably. Bye.